Hello. My name's Fremine. I'm a diver. Oh, no need to shake hands. I mean, no need to be so formal. <clears throat> if you need help surveying underwater ruins or salvaging materials, I can be of some use to you. But for anything else, you might find me a disappointment. I want to spend some time at the bottom of the sea. In peace and total silence. It's easy to fix a machine when you know how it's built and how it works. But people... They're much more difficult. Wherever the tide takes me, so long as the light of the hearth still shines, I'll always have a home to return to. I always get so gloomy when it rains. The rain stopped? <sighs> okay, that's good. Don't be scared, Pear. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Maybe I should put on my diving helmet, too. <laughs> Keep me warm. I'd rather be diving in the sea. Morning. Do you have an assignment for me today? If not, I'll head out. All the components look intact. Maybe it's just a worn out spring? If so, that's an easy fix. Uh, oh, sorry. I was, uh, did you say something? Want a bowl of seafood soup? It's made with shrimp and shellfish caught earlier today. I'm no cook, but the ingredients are fresh, so it shouldn't taste too bad. You go ahead. I'm gonna stay up and read for a while. Hmm? What am I reading? It's, um, it's about diving. There's a bunch of skills that I still need to... Uh, anyway, night. As you know, diving is one of the few things I'm any good at. I spend more time among the Tidalga than I do talking to people. They don't ask you questions or act disappointed. They just float there quietly with you. <sighs> The underwater world is much simpler than the world of dry land. Orders to me are like a clockwork spring driving me forward. And I don't know what to do with myself without them. So if there's anything you need me for, please don't hesitate to ask. If you look up at the sky from far enough underwater, even the sun is soft on the eyes. That's why I like it down there. I've seen lots of barrel conches down in the depths. The patterns are so intricate. I often lose track of the time just staring at them. These fossils are all that's left of these beautiful creatures. I wonder how long before the rest of the world becomes part of this underwater museum too. Lumitoile attach themselves to many things, sometimes on the reefs or docks, but most commonly on large underwater buildings. Do you think they're drawn to humans like Sissons are drawn to the light? I'm sorry. I can't really think of any good stories to share. The ones I do know will just bring down your mood. Apart from diving, my main hobby is dismantling mechanical things and modifying them. I also collect spare parts, and sometimes I build new clockwork toys out of them. Huh? Pear? No, Pear is more like family to me. We grew up together. No, I'm serious. I'm always tinkering with it to add more functionality. I truly hope that a day will come when Pear can fly free into the sky. 
Hmm. That's a tough question. I don't have any critical issues that need addressing. But at the same time, there's a long laundry list of minor things which all take their toll. If I was a clockwork toy on the shelf, I wouldn't even know where to start trying to fix me up. But at the end of the day, I guess it all comes down to one thing. I'm just too weak. Seafood. Mainly fish and shrimp. Crabs, okay too. I'm really glad that Linny and Lynette share my tastes, because it means we can eat meals together. I don't mind how the ingredients are cooked, though. I leave that decision up to them. I can't handle coffee. More than half a cup and before long, my heart starts racing and I can't calm my breathing down. Everyone says that coffee can boost your energy levels, but to me, it's torture. Hmm. It's good. So good I don't want to eat all of it in one go. Is cooking one of your hobbies? It shows. I can taste how much care you put into these delicious meals. Uh, sorry. For a moment there, I had the urge to run for my life. But that wouldn't be fair to you. Would you be willing to come with me somewhere? There's this place I know where the scenery is... spectacular. I think it's even more magical than a fantasy novel. I have a secret hideout there, and I keep some glowing sea creatures as pets. I just want to give you a birthday experience like you've never had before, and then give you my birthday wishes. Um, will you give me the chance to do that? Are... are you sure? You didn't have to do this for me, you know. I'd obey you regardless. Your time and energy is a precious resource. Shouldn't you... spend it on someone else? Uh... How can I ever repay you for this? I don't know what to say. I... I don't have much practice at this. And right now, I'm terrified of saying something stupid and upsetting you. And making you regret this whole thing. I... <sighs> I'm sorry. Is it okay if I just... Say nothing and just stay here with you for a while? Pear! Get in gear! Frost is coming! Going under! Commencing cleanup! Dead reckoning! If there's any scrap metal or parts you don't want, I'll take them. There's a lot of treasure here. Sort the items by type and store them for future use. <clears throat> I've had worse. I can take it. Just keep breathing. You're wounded. Uh, maybe you should... Uh, no home to return to. Sinking feeling. Father... Uh, oh no! Please no! Yes. Take me with you. At your command. Well... I've got nowhere to go.